This is a solar scope. Its purpose is to look at either uh, eclipses of the sun or sunspots. This training video is for the purpose of finding sunspots with this device. It's very simple to use. You find something to set it on. You want to get your back to the sun, so it's shining on this board here, in the middle of which is an objective lens. The sun will shine through it until you find a little white dot there being projected onto this board. What you want to do now is simply move the board until that white dot is right in the middle of that lens. Now you will see a projection of the sun. Down there with the sunspots. Now this is a close-up of that image and you can see the sunspots. Now we're entering a period of time where over the next several years we will be seeing an increasing number of sunspots and their size will be increasing as well. So that will be nice but how do you know when you take this thing out on any given day that you're going to see any sunspots? You don't want to take it out and have all these kids around you and see nothing but a big white dot. That will be somewhat embarrassing and a waste of time. There are three ways to know in advance whether or not you're going to see any sunspots. Two of them are through uh, applications on both Android and Apple devices. Okay. In their app stores, they are listed as SDO Viewer and SOHO, SOHO Viewer, okay? SDO and SOHO, SOHO, are NASA satellites that monitor the sun every day. You get a new current image every single day. So before you take the solar scope out, you can check one or both of these apps to see if you have something to see on that day. There's also a website, uh, which I'll show you, that you can go to in addition to these two apps. These are the two uh, applications on my iPhone, SDO and Soho. We'll try SDO and see what we get. Okay. Um, these are uh, images from today. They're updated daily. So we want the bottom left there, the photosphere, and there it is. And you can see the sunspots there at the four o'clock position. So if you see something like that, you'll want to take the scope out. The third way of checking to see if you have any sunspots on any given day is to go to the SOHO website. When you get there, you go up to that top menu bar where it says data archive and you click on that. On the menu, drop down menu on the left side of the page under real time images, the first item is the sun now and you click on that. And then you go down to the big yellow dot, which is the uh, photosphere of the sun. And you click on that and there you are and you can see the sunspots uh, there at the four o'clock position for today. If, however, you see this image, a big dot with no sunspots, uh, you probably won't want to take the scope out that day. This image was taken from the SDO viewer three days after the previous image. Because the sun rotates on its axis, just like the Earth does, the sunspots you saw three days ago have rotated out of you. One of the problems you might encounter with this is finding something stationary to, to put the solar scope on. The um, stool right here works pretty good either way. It doesn't slide away. But sometimes if you use a chair like this, Bo, you want to bring that chair over? Okay, and use that, it'll, it'll have a tendency to push the chair away. This chair happens to have rubber uh, covers on the bottom, but if you take a couple of kids like this, and then you want them over there, put your left foot, buddy, and over here like this, okay? Well, like that, then the device will most likely stay in place. Right now, it's not too critical because you can see the low angle this thing is at because the sun is very low 
on the horizon right now. But during the summer, when the sun is very high, and you have this thing up like this, okay, this can become a this can become a problem. So you're going to have to keep an eye on that when you um, figure out what you're going to lean this thing on. It's better if you had something like a post or a wall, but if all you have is a chair, then you're going to have to experiment a little bit in order to get something that really works comfortably for you and for all the kids. Okay, now besides looking at eclipses and sunspots, there's another teachable moment to be had with this device. Um, as you look at the sun, uh, what do you see happening? The sun is moving. The sun is moving. Is the sun moving? Uh, no? The earth is rotating, so it appears the sun is moving. Huh. The earth is rotating? And so it appears that the sun is moving. Good, good. As you can see down there, the uh, sun is moving, or appears to be moving. 